Hey there guys, how's it going? And welcome to Volume 1 of Geek Fuel EXP. I mean, look at this thing. It's kind of massive. It's possibly actually bigger than a curiosity box. It, it In two dimensions, two of its like major dimensions, not, not this one, but in like... Uh, what am I trying to show here? That 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 dimension and that dimension, it's actually bigger than the Curiosity Box. But I don't know whether it's necessarily actually bigger. It looks bigger, it feels bigger. So I'm looking forward to this and I've just realised I forgot to uh, open it up in the, to get the, the sellotape on the opening done first. That's the one thing I usually try and do to save a little bit of time. But yes. Volume 1, Geek Fuel EXP. Let's see what's inside. I'm really excited about this. And first of all, don't see a thing. Because there's a massive thing in the way. That looks like it's possibly the uh, information of what's in there. Let's just have a quick one. Yep, that's 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 the thing to say what's in it. So we'll stop there. So we get a double pin badge to start with. That looks awesome. Uh, that, I'm going to guess it's a t-shirt or something, so we'll just drop this down. Planet of the Apes as well. Let's, let's get that over. Let's plonk that, sort of, get things out of the way and plonk that there. So we've got a Planet of the Apes double pin. We have two pins in one. This is interesting how that's going. Is that going to be this case normally? Two pins in one? So Planet of the Apes, you know the classic saying, human see, human do. It's bought one of these exclusive Planet of the Apes pin around your, around school, the office, or anywhere roaming the post-apocalyptic ruins of Earth. Your fellow walking, talking, geeky humans will surely be ape over, go ape, ape over these. So there's George Taylor, Dr. Zeus, Hunt Leader, Dr. Zira, Dr. Cornelius, and George Taylor spacesuit. And I've got Dr. Zeus and... Dr. Cornelius? Yes. I think. And there's a pin, there's a pin badge there as well. Technically it's three pins. pins. There's an actual pin badge and then there's these two. I, don't, I, don't, I won't be putting that one on that. Those two will though. So that's that. But first of all, I should go with Burger of the Day. I'm going to go with this, because I think this is a t-shirt. I'm pretty sure this is a t-shirt. Is there anything to indicate anything else about it? I'm, well, it's half opened already. And we have a t-shirt. It's Deadpool. If that doesn't give it away. Makes sense. Deadpool 2 is coming out soon. Or is already out. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, looks cool. Deadpool. Let's put that on. Uh, we'll take this bit off first, just because can't really go wearing it with it. There we go. And people might complain that I'm ruining it, but I don't care. It's a shirt. It's supposed to be worn. He says when there's several other shirts that he wouldn't wear because of reasons. Sorry, Batman, you've just been taken over by Deadpool. I like this shirt. It's pretty cool. Okay, going on to the next thing. Uh... Includes one officially licensed Bob Burgers apron. Oh, gosh. I suppose I kind of need a burger. A burger? Yeah, I kind of need a burger. I would really like a burger right now. Vegetarian burger, obviously. Uh, who makes the best burgers and love loves nothing more than a delicious burger and a well-placed pun? The Belcher family, of course. Sling this apron over your neck and get to cooking get to cooking with your favorite restaurant employees whether you're flipping food on the flat top or grinning out your with a bounty of veggies belchers are here to keep you clean and ready to entertain the masses i suppose i ought to get this out and try it on hadn't i this isn't a show that i watch to be fair but an apron isn't a bad thing i don't cook very often but Let's see. Oops. 
It's not very easy to see what's what. Let's just bring it up so you can see things. There we go. And I've technically tried it on. But it's going to go over like that for the moment. Okay, on to the next thing. We have a Marvel item. That's going to go there now. So, now available Marvel Cinemas or Canvas Collection Limited Series. I'm getting my face in the way of the, cam of the, the thing in the way of the face. This thing. In the way of this thing. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. There's an actual proper thing. Actual proper canvas thing of Wolverine. That's that's pretty cool. That's really cool. They they are going all out as they said they would, and it even actually has a uh, proper hooky thing, a proper picture frame hooky thing on the back here. It's just covered in cardboard to stop with to stop it damaging things. I'll take that off. And then, yeah, picture frame hook. Not that I actually have any, or put any picture frames up, because I'm in rented and I don't want to damage the walls and have to then replace it. But that's pretty cool. That will probably go somewhere up there. What else we got? Uh, let's go for this little tiny thing first. Uh, it's a Game of Thrones little collector's figure, probably. Uh, it's probably going to be in a sealed bag, so we'll go and see if I can work out which one it is again before I open it. Yes, it's in a sealed bag, and there's t several different types, okay. So, I think there's there's a few different types, okay, so there's them, and then there's them. I don't think there's any real deciphering abilities here to know what's what, so... I've never actually watched a Game of Thrones either, so it's kind of... Yeah. Okay, I think it has a dress. So it might be, uh, there's a couple of people that have dresses. There's Sansa Stark and Arya Stark. The rest of them I don't think have dresses. So that's a very easy dis decision so far. It's entirely possible to be Jon Snow because his does have a slight... Yeah, I I'm feeling it because I feel I can feel the feet, but it's there's no like trouser gap. But I'm pretty sure it's probably one of the females. And I can think, I can feel. Ooh, it's difficult. This is probably really annoying of a noise to be doing. But then the head's kind of spiky. I suppose it could also be Tyrion and Lannister, but no, I don't think so. It's not going to be the Night King, surely. Uh, there's only one way to find out. But I I'm thinking it's either Arya Stark, this one, which you can't actually see any pictures for, or Sansa Stark, mostly because of the straight bit here. But the head does kind of feel like the the, the, this this guy, the king. The Night King. But we'll find out when we open it. If I can open it. Right. I haven't looked yet. So we got the straight bottom. Straight bottom. Ah. It's the king. Or is it the king? I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't... I don't get this one. I don't... It, it's blue also. Do I have like a special one? I don't know. This this seems kind of weird and this, head, this thing moves. But the spiky head kind of makes... means the Night King... It must be, it must be the Night King, but in a special form. 
Cool. I've got a special one. No wonder I wasn't able to decipher it. Cool. Uh, we have a giant piece of slice of pizza here. Kalabunga Pizza Cutter. Comfortable, non-slip, grip and dishwasher safe. It's essentially a natural dish uh, pizza cutter. I don't know if I actually own a pizza cutter yet. Do I? I'm sure I do. It's a bit of a big box for a pizza cutter, unless it's a massive one. I don't know whether you can hear my uh, blinds being blown about in the other room or not. If you can, then that's what it is. All this stuff over the stair. Don't rip it. Just get it open. Nicely. Why why do they do these things? Why do they do these things? Several different little plasty or s s stucky sticky things to seal them. So I can't do it without ripping it or something. Right, there we go. And that's that didn't go very far, did it? And, uh, and uh, oh my gosh, that looks awesome. That's that's kind of cool. What is this even from? Oh, it does actually show a picture of it on the back there. That, that's what it was. What is this from? Who doesn't love pizza? My fellow dudes and dudettes, some major slice and dice action is in order for your next pizza pie. No kitchen is complete without this pie. Say, unsheath and unleash your hunger while you chow down on the undergrowth, underground. Remember, forgiveness is divine, but never... Play, pay full price for your late pizza. Cowabunga. Caution not a toy. It's an actual pizza cutter. And then it's really cool. It's a really cool pizza cutter. That That's kind of cool. I, I like it. That's, that's very fun. Let's place that down there. Where else we got? Ooh, 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 ooh. I know you can get this thing out. Yes, I can. Chronicles of the Force. Discover the story of Lego Star Wars Galaxy. I even get a little figure, figurine. Uh, so, is this basically just a... Oh, wow. The majority of this book is just so that that figurine can sit in it. That's how thick... That's how thick the book is. And half of it is pretty much just so this guy can sit in it. Well designed. Is this basically just a magazine or an art, uh, article for showing what things you can get? I've been told to keep an eye on you. Okay. Oh no, there is actual story and things in there. It's not just a, like, you can buy this sort of idea. But it probably is as well at the same time. That's pretty cool. I will read through that at some point. How do you get this little figurine out? By pushing it out this way. I will get him out at some point. That's that's pretty cool. I like that. And that is the box. Completely empty. Which also looks cool inside as well. I think it's a case of you hold it that way and it's something to do with Game of Thrones. It's pretty cool. I've never seen Game of Thrones, like I said, but I'm pretty sure that looks like a Game of Thrones thing. Like Ice Wall or something or whatever. So then we're going to open up this big thing. Warning contains spoilers. I should have read that in the first place. So this thing basically just shows everything that's inside it. All the awesome looking things. Uh, Game of Thrones Titan vinyl figure exclusive Night King glow in the dark edition. Oh. Basically it was uh, guaranteed that I was going to get that one. It's a glow in the dark edition. Of course. Uh, is having the first white walker glowing from the corner of your room a little scary? Sure, but you can rest easy knowing he can't actually reach out, touch you, and turn you into one of his own. All sorts of awesome things. Bob Burger things. Yes. And it is the castle of Castle Black Diorama. That's what that is. The box, that is. Anyway, 
that has been volume one of Geek Fuel EXP. Uh, my favourite item has got to be the pizza cutter and this uh, proper picture type thing. Shirt's pretty cool also. The Lego book is actually pretty cool too. But two favourite things have got to be those, these two. That also is pretty cool. It kind of goes in well with this, doesn't it? Uh, so, yes, if you've enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. Leave your comments down below of what your favourite item is. Subscribe if you're new to your channel, share it if you're not, and I shall see you in another video. Bye, bye guys.